seconds. <laughs> Five seconds. Hurry, hurry. Three. You're on. You didn't think I was going to make it. <laughs> One. Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Conscious Life Expo. You're in Los Angeles, um, California. And the Conscious Life Expo is the preeminent expo featuring holistic health, spirituality, mystery, the mystery schools, the esoteric, anything that is regarding your growth. Uh, it is said that we are on the cusp of perhaps the single greatest event in the course of human history, and I really believe that that's true. Extraterrestrials are well becoming a part of our life and integrating into our life in ways we'd not even dream possible. We have sightings, but more interestingly, they become actually a part of our, our own fabric of our life. They actually have a way of even enveloping our thoughts, our field. You might say not all your thoughts are even your own. And the expert in this is certainly Ron Amatron. Uh, today's uh, presentation is uh, the 2013 Human Balancing Act. We are reaching a balancing act at this time of negotiating uh, how we uh, live or exist with extraterrestrials in the seen and the unseen. What is the alien agenda? I think today you're going to find out. I find Ron to be very, very uh, an excellent researcher, very grounded. Uh, it is very cutting edge science. Brace for impact. This is Ron Amatron. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so let's see, where do we start off at here? Uh, the first main question is, you're taught that uh, out of the darkness came the light, or the light created the darkness for duality, right? To somehow have a, a tug of war with each other in a sense, or to understand something. And that's typically what you call yourself, you know, when you say you have karma. Am I sort of on the same page with most of you? So basically, the light never created darkness. The light doesn't know darkness, but the darkness knows light because it wants to copy light and bring forth the energies of the darkness agenda, which is all alien. These are alien extraterrestrial energies that we're dealing with. So once upon a time, this planet was full of light, 100% light, and the beings on it were of light. The ones that are left over that are of light are probably more of the, uh, the, the tree spirits and the flowers and things. Those the aliens somehow don't want to attach to too much, okay? But humans, since we have a mind, they gave us a program in our mind to allow us, or allow them to control us through our DNA. So they brought us into a body that has DNA inside of it, and each time you have a child, uh, you have that, the thoughts of you passed on to that child, and it gets worse and worse for each lifetime. So how in the hell could you ever get out of here with your body, typically, full of gunk? Because you are your parents, okay? Whether you know it or not, they're in you. And your ancestors. So you may know, you know, about your grandparents or grandmothers, et cetera, fathers. But what about, you know, 500 years ago? You're going to go, I don't know who they are. Well, what about 10,000 years ago? It's still in you. So from the get-go, the aliens did that to you. So we're living in a, a planet of light that's created by light, and the darkness crept into it. So we're trying to do this balancing act, trying to figure out who and what we are, and how to get out of here. So all of you in here lost or didn't do the ascension 2,000 years ago when Jesus came. You know, you may know about his basic teachings, very simple. Clean your body out of densities, blockages, mind control patterns, thought, okay? And get rid of these thought energies out of your cellular memory so your body can have your spirit more fully integrated in it. That makes sense to all of you? That's why he came. So the darkness uh, didn't like that, and he killed him. And that was our space brothers, the uh, quote, quote, Galactic Federation, who did that to him. He's probably getting some kind of guidance from them, telling him what to do, uh, being beamed up on ships, et cetera. I can remember one of those experiences myself when I was in his body. But uh, aside from that, they took him out. Uh, I was actually the healer energy in Jesus. I was a light being. I'm still a light being. So I chose to come back right now in this lifetime to help people. So I don't live in time. So what that means is that I don't live on your timeline. So all timelines are real that you live on. And the timelines are your dreams, uh, past lives. You all know about past lives and dreams, right? These are all timelines. And you can be living on, you know, 500 timelines at one time in the moment. So I don't live on those. I just live in source energy, and I came down here with my spirit to help people in a body. 
So the body is a, a body like yours, except I have all the information from source energy as I bilocate back and forth continuously. So any questions so far? Am I losing anybody? Yes? Uh, what you were saying about Jesus, uh, I, don't, is that, I don't remember hearing about that in Christianity. You, you probably won't, no. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, yeah his, body, his body was uh, stripped of DNA, which you could call the Immaculate Conception. And then from there, light beings came into the body, because light beings can't come into darkness. They don't know darkness, so they couldn't hold the space in the body, right? So that's uh, what happens. So my body is, is basically that. I am aging, you know, but, uh, you know, aside from that, I don't hang on to your stuff when I do clearings. If I did, I'd be dead, you know, years and years ago. So your, your DNA carries the blockages that stored inside of you. And each time you get uh, presented with uh, information, like watching the TV or somebody talking to you, they will trigger your DNA. When they trigger your DNA, then that now comes up to you as maybe a learning experience, learning lesson. So, you know, it's that simple. If you didn't read any books or know anything about anything else, just lived your life out in the hills, you know, maybe with goats and sheep or something or horses or cows or whatever, you would not have any interaction with any humans and you would not be contaminated because nobody could trigger you. Okay? So what I'll do first here is an emotional clearing, just a, a sample one for people. I want you all to think of a, a situation in your life that you've experienced that was kind of negative. doesn't matter what it is or what age you were. So I'll clear that from you. I'll just click my finger to do that. Ready? It's released from you. So what I'm doing is taking that energy out of you and putting in peace energy. So the only thing that we have here that I can talk about that would be closest to source energy is peace, not love. Love is duality. It would be peace. And peace energy is what source energy would be. And that's with your spirit. I think of another situation. Okay. That one's released. And look at it. It should be very, very dampened. Okay. Maybe like 90% released from you. Think of one more situation, emotional situation. There, that one's released. So see, the light doesn't care what you're doing, doesn't analyze your problem, just takes it away. So human modalities, he wants you to go through what the problem is, when you got it, where did it come from, and then you're on your emotional roller coaster ride of bringing up more issues, and uh, you never get healed. So, the balancing act. So what happened in, yes, this gentleman back here. One more. <laughs> In fact, if I, I'll do ten of these for you, okay? So, now what will happen is you're probably dealing with maybe eight to ten major issues in your life. If I release the, now what you're doing, you're bringing up one scene of a situation, right? Like the dog biting you or something or, you know, your spouse yelling at you or whatever. But once that's released, you go, man, I'm free of this here. Your body starts to relax. If I do ten of these, then you go, man, this is great. Life is good until the next 10 hits you, okay? So here we go. So we did, we did three, right? So let's do number four. You ready back there? Here we go. Think of your issue. There, that one's released. And you're going to start feeling your body relaxing more. Next issue, number five. That one's released. Number six. That one's released. Number seven. It's okay. That one's released. Number eight, that one's released. Number nine, that one's released. Number 10, that one's released. Now, can you think of any more? You probably feel pretty much emptied out, right? Life is good right now? OK, I'll do number 11. Now, think back really hard in your history of yourself. Maybe it's your first romance. Uh, this First time you're at school with a school teacher hit you over the head with the paper or something, didn't like you, right? So here we go. Ready? There. So what you just experienced was, it, was, was what Jesus did, seeing that you're healed. No processing. The light comes in, takes away your stuff, doesn't care what it was. I'm not reading anybody in here. I'm just using light energy. From me going into you, so I'm plugged into source energy. I live out of time in the moment, in the true moment. Okay, the true eternal now. Working with your spirit, and the healing takes place. 
Now, if you didn't have a spirit in your body, it would be a little bit harder to have a healing, if not impossible. So, any questions? Do they work retroactively? Do they work? You mean? If I think of something later? No. <laughs> On my website, I have a clearing, which is the whole lifetime emotional clearing. And you do that, and it clears out your whole lifetime probably in 10 minutes. Let's say 90% of it, okay? Yes? Do the humans have the capability of learning this invisible technology? The no. The aliens have learned it? No. Uh, the, the, the aliens gave you DNA, and they're living off of you with the DNA. So you really can't do a clearing yourself because you're using mind energy. Right. Okay, and your spirit has been so disempowered here, and it's been taken off on parallel lifetimes in the beyondo. We don't even know where it is. So as far as using your own spirit to help you out, it's lost. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. No, it's not to use my spirit. That's not what I'm asking. I'm saying... They have learned this invisible technology against us. Could we learn their invisible technology? We have the same capability of learning that invisible because we're in the physical technology. We're not in the invisible. Could we cross over and learn how to do what they do or not? I don't know. It depends what they're allowing you to know. Remember, okay, he has, he has a good question. So what you have here is collective consciousness. Okay, that's like all this stuff up in the sky. You may want to call it God energy. I don't use the word God. Thus, alien. I don't deal with aliens. Well, I deal with them all the time, but did not in a in a uh, loving way. We'll say I, I love them to death. Okay. <laughs> so, so anyway, as, as, aside from that, they're giving you all of your thoughts. They're transmitting the thoughts to you, channeling the information. You, you've probably seen people here at the expo who does channeling, uh, angel channeling, you know, whatever channeling of who, what or the other. That's from the aliens coming into the people. Is the information good? It can be. It can be correct information. There's always some kind of hook on it, though. So once you get hooked into the alien agenda by looking for more of their stuff, then you can have problems. So where are we here? Uh, they block us out is what you're saying. We're blocked out. They're only going to let you know and do what they want you to do. And then they have a robotic program. So let's do a, a clearing here for your hands, don't they okay? Have a veil around it? What's that? Don't they have like a veil around it? Uh, it? Mm, okay, oh, okay, another, another good, okay. The light, you can never go back to light. You can't go to source energy. Your only source energy is your spirit inside of you. So all of you need, out here, just need one book, okay? With one page, you'll say, go within. Everything else is going to be mind-controlled energies that you're reading and connecting yourself with. OK? So that's, I'm going to do a, a, a robotic clearing here for people. So like I said, you're being controlled by the aliens. And you may not understand that or, or, or not even know about it. You think that I'm crazy if you're talking about it. So we're going to take your, right, your left hand here, OK? And uh, I want you to look at it and feel the presence on it. Maybe w move your, your fingers and then check out your right hand. And what I'm going to do is take off the robotic program that the aliens put on you in your left hand. OK? Here we go. I'm going to count to uh, uh, probably 50 to release it. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3. I get tired of counting. Ready? Here we go. There, it's released. Now feel your hand. Does it feel like it weighs less? Fingers work better? Yes. Okay. So that's because they had controls on you from your DNA going to your hand, basically, because they know about you. Now I'll do your right hand so you feel a little better. Here you go. Ready? And there. That energy's off you. Feel better? Okay, I can get into, uh, anybody have any suggestions of what I can do next here? Do you have anything, Halcyon, or, or Carrie, or Larry, or we we'll got? Um, just a question. Um, um, I had a dream that I was um, another. A dream. A dream okay. that a, a person, another spirit, like, tried to attack me, and then I shot him with energy and blasted him okay. away and stuff. Okay, so he, he had a dream. Okay, so all dreams are real. Okay? It's not a learning experience for you like they tell you that. I'm having this dream because my higher self that's out in the beyond can't talk to me down here in my physical body. 
There's no such thing as your higher self. There's nothing that's higher self of you. You have it here now. That's it, period. No lower self, no middle self, no higher self. It's you. Okay? So his dream is he was abducted, okay, and sold out on many, many, many timelines, living at the same time, and one of those happened to bleed through where he was being probably chased by someone. Okay? And he was probably in fear on that timeline. And then he woke up and had that dream come vivid to him, seeing what was going on. Now, all that trauma is being passed on to him as he's experiencing that. Now, the aliens want to live off your emotional energy and also physical pain energy. So let's just say that this person was chasing him or whatever it was, and they broke his foot. So now he has pain there. Does he have a broken foot here? Maybe not but he may have pain residue coming into here. Maybe he's going, why, what, my, my foot's hurting. So each one of those timelines that are duplicated, and there could be, say, a thousand of those, each one of those could have a broken foot on it, and then that'll get imprinted here. Remember, they can do a copy and paste, okay? They can take you where you are right now and bring you back to the age of 10 and have that timeline activated where you're living in the age of 10. With, with the spirit that you had when you were 10? Uh, yes. Uh-huh. Because everything is in time. Remember, what you're seeing here you think is real. And the lights in here are being turned off at 120 times a second, but you don't know that. But they're still being turned off. Well, they're turning you off continuously, too. Uh, on again, off again. Uh, it would be the real you if you're in your body at that time because they can just because they have like a videotape of your whole life and they can change it back and forth okay so we'll talk about abductions okay that's a hot subject right a little scary for most people uh, so how many people here have lost their keys or a purse or a coat or jacket or something lost my car <laughs> lost your car <laughs> okay so that means that if you lost something, <laughs> you, boy, <laughs> hope they put gas in it for you. <laughs> Somebody stole his car and went out for joyriding there in Mars. <laughs> so, yeah, so, so what happens is uh, everybody's abducted continuously, and you lose things, and you're out on timelines. And if you lose something, and then you eventually find it within a few days or so, and you look in the same exact location spot to where you looked, you know, hundreds of times, and, you, and it goes, there it is. But what do you first think of yourself? Boy, am I stupid for not looking there, but I thought I looked there, but I must not have seen it, right? That's typically the, the situation. You blame yourself. Well, you were actually, those keys or whatever was on a timeline somewhere else in the Beyondo, but not in this timeline here. Making sense to you? Okay. Now, how many of you have been driving your car and you look in your mirror, rearview mirrors, to do a lane change or you're stopped, going to do a turn left or right, and there's no car there whatsoever, you pull out about three or four feet, and now suddenly you hear a horn, and you go, holy shit, there's a car next to me here, right? <laughs> and you go, where would that come from? Two things could have happened. Either you got beamed down here from a timeline, living out there in the Beyondo, and they just superimposed, copy and pasted their reality into somebody else's reality, and now the two joined. So either you got abducted and was brought back, or they got brought back. Yes? Are you really talking about just spacing out in your mind when you're driving and not really paying attention? Oh, spacing out. Okay, when you space out, then you are abducted if you're spacing out. So you're driving down the freeway, right? And you want to turn off an exit so-and-so, right? You've done it your whole life, every day. You're going to work, right? And you're driving. And maybe you have a song on the radio giving you mind control transmissions or something. Uh, and all of a sudden, you end up, you know, 20 miles on down the road. And you go, geez, I missed the off-ramp. But you had no awareness that you missed it when you went to the second off-ramp, right? Not even a clue. But 20 miles on down the road, you go, man, what did I do? Well, you weren't here. So what happens is I call that driving into the billboard. You're driving your car, and the scenery in front of you is the same, and they all of a sudden abduct you and bring you into a brand new scene, a brand new movie set. 
and you're driving, and the car next to you now is recreated, it's there too, and who knows what they're doing with you, because you don't know that awareness, I won't get into that. Uh, you know, uh, Sean made a joke when Sean Morton at one of the expos, he says, I'm about abductions, he says, well, I hope that when I get abducted and I'm on the table that I'm laying down on my back. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the anal probe, you know. But uh, <laughs> anyway, so uh, uh, so when you do come back here, then, then you realize that you're conscious. Uh, sometimes you hit abduction points, and you start to yawn. Your eyes kind of water a little bit. You don't feel quite right. You feel a little agitated, but you don't really. You can't really put your finger on it. That's when they get you. And then now you're up in the Beyondo someplace. They're playing the movie set, and. The people down here might still see your car, possibly, but they may not. It all depends what, what set they're playing. And then all of a sudden you come back down again. And maybe uh, for some reason uh, the people down here are driving their car, and they, they have that strange experience, oh, how'd this guy get next to me here? Well, that's when you got beamed down. Sure, how about when the guy behind you just is not there anymore? Not there? Yeah. That's, that's a good one. Yeah, they, they disappear. Yes? Okay, what's happening now, that's, that's what I'm going to be talking about here. So th this is about clones. Okay, here we go, everybody. <laughs> so uh, starting, uh, you know, uh, before September, thereabouts, maybe a month or two before, they started bringing in brand new cloned model prototypes. There's two types of clones that I've found so far. There's the human clones, uh, like probably most of you or parts of you here, and these are the ones, we'll go back to uh, a year ago from now, okay, now I can talk. So a year ago, I can tell you that you're being cloned out every 10 minutes. A new replica of you comes in, and the alien race that has control of you for that 10 minutes to take your emotional energy to live off of you, okay, has a program for you, and you're doing that program. Then after about 10 minutes, time is stopped, and then another alien race comes in, and recreate you. They, remember, they stop time. And they get the whole movie set going, put your clothes on and everything else, and get your hair right, the makeup artist, and then they bring you down here, push the button, and now you're in time again, and you start moving. And then the next race gets you in 10 minutes. So you're here basically being real about two hours a month. And the two hours a month that you're here is when you really have the great ideas because your spirit's with you more and you go, well, I can do this, I can do that, I have these great ideas and invention or whatever I want to do, and then next day, forget it, it's all fizzled out. So now we'll talk about what happened, uh, the preparation for the alien abductions for uh, December 21st, we'll say hypothetically 20, 20th, 21st, 22nd, the mind calendar date of the New Age change. So, they brought in prototypes about three months previous to that, clones that would be here, because that date was the, uh, their abduction date. Everybody heard about something's going to be happening right in December, the third week in December, that, that the Mayan calendar is going to end. So, what's the Mayan's spiritual practices back then when they did the calendar? Uh, my only understanding is that they used to do worshiping of sun gods, right, or a sun god, and taking people up on the pyramids and uh, pulling out their heart and their lungs and maybe chopping their head off and sacrificing people, right? So let's just stretch that out a little bit. So that's what they did back then. Now, are they in control of timelines? Of course, they're aliens. They know how to control timelines. Why couldn't they have taken that same timeline back then and copy and pasted that into last December. And how many people are on this planet that they could sacrifice? Lots, right? So how many of you have seen strange energies from basically November to now? And what I mean is strange that the timelines are not syncing with each other, okay? You're doing something and maybe you take a step and it feels like you drop down an extra inch or, you, or the step was above you, 
or you try to think of something and it just wasn't there, or you looked at something and it seemed kind of like airy fairy or like, like the energy was like moving back and forth. Well, all, all these things are happening because the timelines are not solidified. And then the New Year's came, right? So they got rid of all the old ancient timelines and are bringing in brand new timelines with brand new clones at the first of the year. So that's where we are right now. So this planet is mainly cloned people. And so the, the real clones are the ones that are the humans that get switched out. Then you have the other ones that are true clones. Now the true clones don't have a long program. They're still prototypes. And they look like you used to look. They're like your neighbor used to look. Because remember, they, they, they can't just get rid of your neighbor, right? You go, what happened to my neighbor, right? Uh, there's a lady in here who, uh, uh, whose sister went back in New York uh, or New Jersey or someplace, back east, to a Walmart. And the Walmart parking lot was filled. Is this during Christmas time thereabouts? I believe it is, okay. And so what happened was the parking lot's filled. This is a super Walmart, right? I mean, you know how big they are, the, the real big stores, right? Went into the store. You know, they had a park like 10 minutes away walking, right? You know what that's like, right? You go into the store, maybe there's 50 people in the whole store. Hello, where'd they go? Well, they drove there, got abducted, taken out, and then eventually clones got brought back into their cars, whatever time that would be, maybe three, four hours later. And now they're back living here. So what we're going to do here is to have a little experience. So let's have... Uh, uh, people stand up, and I want maybe the room split in half here. So maybe this half go to this wall, and this half go to that wall. And what we're going to do is just see how people look. And is that too far away for people to see, to, to get uh, a physical, you know, uh, appearance of people? Are you too far apart? You can see, okay, so I want you just to focus on the people across there. And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to do a decloning process, and we'll just see what happens here. So I'm going to take out uh, 100 clones of each of you, and I want you all to watch the other people. Maybe just focus on one or two people. And you're going to feel yourself changing. And then I'm going to put a spirit into the ones that had no uh, clone in them or had a clone but didn't have a spirit. This will be quite interesting. So here we go. This is the first time I've done this. So I'm going to take out your clones if you're a clone replica person, which most people are here, or were here <laughs> a year ago. Here we go. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And boy, too bad the cameras can't get turned to watch the people there back there. So here we go. Are you a camera lady or person? Okay, so here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20. Clones are leaving. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 100. Okay, how are you people feeling? Your body getting warmer? That's because when I took the clone out of you, it got replaced by part of your spirit. So now your spirit's holding more territory in your body, okay? So you, it's like puzzle pieces. You have more puzzle pieces of your spirit. And I'll do 100 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 200. Okay, now we're going to bring you back in here to, to solidify your energy. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. There. How's your body's feeling? Feel good. Different. Okay, so when you leave the workshop here, look at the people outside. 
and you're going to see them like they're like the replicas, just or like they're a mannequin walking. They're an artificial life form walking as a clone body. Now, what I'm going to do that the the people in here that have been completely cloned out, okay, where they are an official clone, and the other body is in the Beyondo. I'm going to put a spirit into their body first and bring a spirit into you. So here we go. One, two, three, four, and five. And now bring in a spirit into your body. It looks out of your eyes. One, two, three, four, and five. There. I won't ask for anybody to comment unless you want to, if you felt something shift in your body. But you're now of light. Okay, you can sit down. So the, the, the question that people ask me all the time is, why are there aliens here? Why aren't they helping us? What do they want from me or us? Well, they just want to get your energy. Somehow, you know, we're like uh, cattle to them or, you know, even worse. And that's, that's it. How or why, I, don't, I can't really answer that. But that's what they do. So, any questions? Question over here? Uh, yes. Um, so the controlling is in part through or because of the DNA? Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. The aliens gave you the DNA to sabotage you, to store records of your history. So can you exist in this form without? Can you exist without DNA being activated? Yes. Mine is almost completely turned off. I do have some that's active, but uh, you see, the DNA stores your information of what you're going to be doing next. So it's kind of all, you know, under like the water, under you know the iceberg, you know, scenario. So it's all underneath, and then you activate it, and then it pops up, and then that's what you're doing. That's your experience. So so you're living the life of your ancestors, and how much of that you're living is how much experiences you're having. Uh, and what's being brought to you or what you're looking at or hearing about on, on a situation. So when people talk about experiences in other lifetimes as, quote, walk-ins, it sounds more like the cloning of what you're talking about. Yeah, I would say possibly that'd be true. Remember, they mentioned uh, that we're going through some kind of, uh, quote, quote, cosmic shift or something, you're going into new realities, right? <laughs> right, that was, was supposed to happen, right, in in end of, end of December, right? Well, that happened. Those people are in a different reality. <laughs> the ones that got abducted completely. They disappeared. They disappeared. Yeah, they're gone. I saw them up like in these, these like, say, glass uh, spaceships looking out, kind of mesmerized, and they got taken off planet, and they just got swapped out by another body that looks like theirs. So th this right now might sound scary to you, uh, but uh, you'll be seeing more of this as time goes on, probably in the next six months or so. And, and they can't communicate too well. So if you get somebody who you're talking to, an old friend, and you talk to them about you know, the old days, how it was, and they look at you and they go, I just don't remember that. Well, it's because they don't. They don't have the program for it. They just need a short program to live here. What do you do in your life? You get up in the morning, you do your bathroom stuff, you know, and you eat, and you get in your car, and you go to work, right? That's the program, right? You know what your job is, your job title, and then you come back home again. You know, the, the ideal, and plus the new people, the new clones are very passive. Haven't you people seen more passive people now? Yes. And there's less mind chatter in the airwaves. Do you notice that? Towns are quiet where they used to have, you know, you didn't know what it was, but it's gone now. It's because you're living with clones. Yes? So what's the purpose of their going, having the experience? Is it just to live vicariously? The clones are people. No, the, the, uh, the other side, the, uh, well, the aliens. Well, the aliens need energy. Some, I don't, all I know is they live off your emotional energy. When you're happy, they take it from you. 
because they gave you duality. And what does duality do? It makes your body respond, uh, it, it, you know, with emotions typically. So they put that program in you. Okay, so they gave you, they put everything in you so they could live off of you through your happiness and your sadness and your pain. And then they take that, so that the one life here is probably good for one alien race, but you know, maybe there's a thousand or more out there who want to live off you too, so they create timelines. And then those timelines, they just copy and paste that same reality going, right, with their own makeup artist on it, same basic movie set, and uh, they live off of you also. And that's why it's so hard to have a healing done on yourself, typically, is because you could be on a thousand timelines with your same condition. I, I do uh, clone uh, healings, decloning uh, every uh, Wednesday, or uh, Thursday, it's, it's $20 for an hour, and I take out your replicas on a conference line. So if you have a physical condition, you can request that, and you might feel better afterwards. Because all these clones out there have that same condition. And once you get that condition released, you feel better. Is, is there anybody in here who has a problem with their body right now, an ache or pain or something? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow, jeez. Oh, okay, you guys come up here. You'd be, you be, you be some guinea pigs. Here we go. Come on up. <laughs> I guess uh, we'll have five people left out there, huh? <laughs> yeah, they don't want to admit it yet, huh? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do something here. Uh, we're going to take away... I'm gonna, boy, we got a lot of people who... <laughs> I thought it would be like one or two of you, you know? <laughs> okay, here we go. So uh, who has pain above their shoulders? Raise your hand, okay? So I'm going to take out the clones of you uh, to release that energy from you. And we'll just see the pain goes away. Okay, so from above your neck. Yes. Neck and above, okay? Uh, let me just see how I want to do this here. i got to check with the light beams here real quick. Okay, here we go. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. There, the clones are released. How do you feel? Any relief? Better. Better? I'll do it again. This, this is, I've, I haven't done this before, so here we go. One, two, three, four, five, released again. Okay, is your pain gone? Or, or you know, is it like over 80%? Okay. So what happened was all those clones that were attached to you, maybe thousands of them, that had that condition are now terminated. They have a chance to go into the light at times, but the alien race that created them, they're gone. Okay, and now you're free of that uh, problem, hopefully. Okay, now we'll do from uh, uh, your shoulders down to, uh, let's just say, your, your, your navel, your belly button, going up, okay? Dividing the body off, okay? Who has problems in that area? Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, released. Again, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, how's your pain doing? Is it subsided? Better? Yeah. Better? So that's your clone. So we probably got rid of maybe, uh, you know, I'll just say about 10,000 clone replicas of you, okay? Yeah, that's now, all right. Okay, now we're going to go from your, your, your navel on down to the bottom of your feet, okay? Let's, anybody have hip problems? I got a knee problem. Knee? Spell. Hip problems. Hip? Okay, well, we'll do hips for everybody, okay? Right. I want you all to maybe move your legs up and down, kind of moving your hips to see how they feel, and then we'll check it out after this here, okay? So clone replicas being released out of your hips. One, two, three, four, five. 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 There, now move your legs. Are they, are they looser? Feel like they're lubricated? So the clones give you your, your condition. Okay, now we're going to do the rest of you. Okay, we'll try that. Sciatica nerve, okay. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, well, that's a hard one. One, two, three, four, five. 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 How's it feeling now? Not heavy? Less. 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 Yes. Okay. And now we'll go down to the bottom of your feet. Okay. Ready? You might wiggle your toes, your feet, kind of see how they feel. You should feel uh, more empowered or, or just better, you, you know, like you're more in control of your body because you weren't before. Okay. They were. One, two, three, four, five. 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 There. How are you guys feeling? Light. Light. Okay. You can sit down. Yeah. 
So, so, so typically your problems are, are from, from the beyondo, okay? Remember, your spirit doesn't hang on to anything. It has no memory. So I'm trying to get you back into line where I'm coming from. Your spirit is perfect. It has no memory of the past, only works in the now. So when you bring the now of your spirit in, it doesn't know about all the garbage you're dealing with, right? It just recreates you. Now all I'm doing is bringing in source energy through me into you, to your spirit, and having your spirit help you do the healing. That's the way it works. Without you being in your body, I, I could not really help you. What about Alzheimer's? Because they're dealing with it now all the time. They yeah, I don't, uh, I don't know, you know that much. Uh, I have a clearing on the website which could help, which is an oxygen, uh, alien oxygen clearing. And it's a free clearing, and it helps to take out the energetic codes that the aliens are putting in the ocean which you're breathing. I also have a nano clearing for nanotechnologies, which you may want to get onto. That could help possibly, okay? Yes? Uh, I noticed, you know, like as far as television, like television shows, it seems like they're getting like more violent and violent and more violent and more vicious, you know. And is there a relationship as far as um, the media and as far as how it's affecting the public the, the violence in society. So. Well, I would think that the violence is going to trigger more emotions in you. So I mentioned this to a couple of people, you know, uh, when I was at the booth there. Since I have most of my DNA turned off, we'll just say that you went, we'll just say you went outside this room here, right? And when you walked out there, you saw monitors with just horrific things on it. Car wrecks, people being, uh, you know, maybe... Uh, in a sword fight, uh, guns, head is blown off, you know, battles and wars. As you walk by these monitors, right, and you see all this horrific stuff happening, it'll probably trigger you. And they, then that, they live off of that energy. For myself, I just look at it as just a situation, just, just seeing something in neutral. It's just happening. I'm not, I have no information on that, so I couldn't tell you. Because I understand it's supposed to affect the brain. Yeah, I'm sure that it could, probably, yeah. In a negative way. Yes. Ron, I just noticed that every time, like, Discovery Channel, they all have all alien, everything is alien now. Are they trying to tell us what they're doing? Well, you, you, yeah, they could be, you know. Remember, the, the planet is controlled by aliens, whether they're physical here. Uh, let's see, how do I say this here? Uh, the human body is a vessel for spirits or things to come into it, okay? And so there's shapeshifters that can come into the bodies. They can change forms or they can just use the body. Uh, some aliens come into a physical body. They look perfectly fine, but they have a different agenda going on. So I'm not a proponent of aliens at all. Uh, I've seen too much uh, and, and battled too many of them to have to uh, think that they're good, Okay. Uh, a few have swapped over to the light, but not too many of them. But, uh, you know, you're looking at just uh, a handful of, of aliens that wanted to help out. So the only reason why the aliens have not killed me, literally, is because I offer them some kind of hope. Because, see, they're in the same soup that you're in. Something is controlling them that's a higher consciousness than what they are, okay? And nobody wants to be controlled. So what I'm doing is giving the aliens hope, even though I'm terminating them when I go out in battles and stuff with them. But at some point, there is some hope here for them because they know about the ascension. Remember, they know about timelines, right? And ascension happens every 2,000 years approximately. And we're coming up to that 2,000-year point. And so they did their big, their big shift in December 21st to abduct basically humanity here. And just watch people. You're going to see that they're not the same anymore. Once you look at people and you go, wow, this person I used to like or know, and I'm talking about this situation or something that happened, and they have a blank you know, stare on their face, or they just look a little different. Maybe they're dressing differently. It's not the same person. It looks like them, but it's a cloned replica, and they don't have all the programming yet. So what they're going to do is bring in more programming, maybe in the next six months, to make them more human. And then they're going to have more emotions. But the clones right now are very docile. 
That's why you have less mind chatter when you go out different places. And, and it seems like there's more peace around because the clones are not in that mode. And, and ideally, you know, if you had, had a clone, if you hired a clone, right, and they didn't know what to say, just said, go do this here, go dust my cabinet or, you know, do my dishes, they ought to say, okay, and go do it, right? There's no confrontation. And that's the way the clones are. So humanity basically, you know, because of people's choices, this will sound a little bit uh, callous maybe for some of you, but humanity chose religions. You chose to read books. You chose mind energy. You chose to get caught up in the alien agenda with all the different keywords and everything else. Humanity brought it upon themselves. And humanity uh, basically was destroying or has almost destroyed the earth spirit completely because of mind energy, bringing in the aliens here. And one of the worst things was when they did the, uh, uh, what was it, what, uh, uh, 80, uh, 86, 87 harmonic convergence. Got all these people trying to pray for peace, bringing in energies here, opening up vortexes, stargates to bring the aliens in. You know, and that sort of happened in World War II when they were doing the uh, Philadelphia experiment. They opened up some more energies, bringing them in here. They shouldn't be here. No, you have people praying in churches, they're bringing in aliens. So, you know, how do you fix a bucket which is full of holes and put water in it? You can't. So the ones that got taken out of here are only because they were unconscious enough in doing stupid things. Didn't know about the light. Never listened to what Jesus talked about, about cleaning your body out. That's, you know, that's the basic thing. That's how the light sees it, in a sense. And the light's in non-judgment, but you have to have some light to save it. Nobody's here to get saved because they chose the wrong system. They chose duality versus being in your heart center, right? Everybody's trying to go into their heart, but yet they use the mind energy to go into your heart. And I'll do the mind to heart drop in, in about two minutes. I'll get a question from back here. Yes. If you talk, talk real loud. Okay. Are you allowed to tell us when the ascension will I have no idea. Light only works in the now. There's no, no history. No. I can tell you that uh, I believe the ascension time was supposed to be sometime in 2008. So I got activated to do what I'm doing now in 2005. I just basically like gave up doing healings on people and stuff because it was too good. Didn't have any referrals. You know, when you do this here, right, and people get healed, then they don't know about their illnesses, right? Anybody feel their, their last pain that they had? Think back about it. It's not there. So, so I gave it up. So then they said, oh, you got to do this in 2005. I go, oh, shit, you know, okay. So, and they said, three years. So we're over time. Uh, uh, the other person in the back, I think, had a question? Yes, I wanted to know what you meant when you said that praying brings in aliens. Praying? Praying in churches brings in aliens. Yeah, what are you praying to? Okay, the source energy is always with you inside of you. It's with your heart center. So why are you connecting to something or, or people? Why do people connect with something outside of themselves and worship that, pay money for it, right? Exactly. And ask for a favor, okay? And you can't connect to it. So they're bringing in aliens to themselves, getting hooked up more and more and more. That's what I meant by that. Thank you. Okay? Meditation and out-of-body experiences like an abduction? Yes, in a sense it would be an abduction, yes. So meditation, if you stay in your body, meditation is probably perfectly fine, okay? But most people buy a, a CD, right, or a DVD, and they have this guided meditation telling you what to do, right? They're guiding you, right, with somebody's voice. Go down and ground to this, do this, do that, right? So where are you going? Right away when you hear it, you're in mind energy, not in light. Right? Connecting some dots for you, you're in mind energy. And then you're going out into the beyondo. And then you leave your body. So then what do they say at the very end of the meditation? They always normally tell you, at least come back here now, wiggle your toes, wiggle your body, you know, make some, well, they're giving your spirit permission to leave your body. It doesn't want to be here. You're not talking to it. So it goes, well, I have another experience I can do. This person is too dense to communicate with me, and now I have a chance to leave. That's why your spirit leaves you, leaves out of your body at night, too, because you're not talking to it. So just think of your poor spirit. How many in here have talked to your spirit today? Did the mind to heart drop? Good. 
couple people. So I'll teach you how to do this. I can only teach two things that you can do yourself up to now, okay? First thing is the mind of heart drop. The mind of heart drop is very simple. You have to command your spirit out loud. You can whisper it. Otherwise, if you think about it, then you're in mental energy. You don't want to ever be in mental energy, okay? Now, you can be in heart mental energy. It's a different thing. You can't think with your heart, okay? But thinking up here, you're in the alien agenda. You're in the matrix. So you have to command your spirit to take your thoughts, the monkey mind chatter, and drop it into your heart. And then it gets neutralized. And you can't have a negative or positive thought when you're in your heart. It doesn't exist there because you're in source energy. Source energy does not judge. It's peace, right? If you're not in peace, then you're in duality, right? You always have conflict going on. So here we go. Um, I'll do this for you. So I'm going to command all of your spirits to take your thoughts inside of your head. That's normally where you think of them at, okay? You're going to drop into your heart. So what I'm going to do is count from 10 to 1 backwards, and I'm going to stop at 5 so you can actually think, and then your thoughts will be around your throat area. Now, this will be kind of trippy for some of you. So here we go, dropping down. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Now think a thought, and it should be in this area here instead of up here. Now we're going to bring it into your heart where your spirit resides. So 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. There. Now your heart's centered. So you should be at peace. You feel like you're at peace now? It's quiet. Okay, so... In theory, that's where you want to get to in meditation, okay? But you can do this in 10 seconds. And you can walk around and still be in peace. You don't have to have your hands held a certain way. You can have your legs crossed. You know, there's all different types of weird things that people talk about, what you can't do, you know, right? But, but you can live your life in peace. Now, when somebody jars you about something to get you into duality, then now you're in your head again. Then you drop yourself back down. So you may be at peace for two or three minutes the first time, maybe even less. But, you know, as you start doing this more and more, maybe you do it ten times a day, you're going to be more peaceful. And that's where you want to be. If, if all of humanity did the mind-to-heart drop for like a week, you know, continuously, off and on, so that nobody got into mind, the aliens would probably just leave. And this planet would turn around on a dime instantly. Everything would stop. Everything would just be peaceful. Yes? What if you're being blocked? You can't be blocked doing that. You can't be blocked. When you command your spirit, the part of your spirit, even though it's very small, is very powerful, and it will drop your thoughts into your mind. You're commanding it to do that. All healings are a command. Yes? Yeah, what happens is, yeah, yeah, that is true. Yeah, see, a, a baby is, is innocent, which means that it has no mind energy attached to it. It has no programs activated yet until you as a parent tell your child, up, oh, don't do that, and then that mind program starts. And then it goes into the DNA and goes, oh, you know, I shouldn't be doing this, you know, walking off the steps here because I might hurt myself. I don't know how to walk yet. You know, I might get hurt. So that's all in the DNA, and now this history is building up being drawn out of the baby's DNA, right? And eventually, as your, your child goes to probably kindergarten or something, and it starts to learn, now it's being programmed by the darkness. I'm not saying that the school is programming the child, but this is the way the darkness comes in, because now you're running DNA information coming up out of you. Yeah, it can, uh-huh. And the energy can be very strong. Yeah, it all depends how much uh, uh, they like you and how they're going to connect to you. Yes, way back there in the back. Um, what happens when we're doing remote viewing? Remote viewing? Good question. Remote view, okay. All timelines are uh, real, okay? So when you remote, remote view, there's different techniques. Sometimes you may, in a sense, do an astral projection. But I think most of the people who 
do remote viewing classes don't do that. They're just getting information uh, probably from collective con consciousness, from the darkness, because they have a plan and a script, and they're trying to figure out where something is. Does that answer your question? Yeah, yeah, they could do that too, yeah. And that's what's happening. Uh, how much time do we have left? Uh, half an hour. Half an hour? Okay, so we have uh, the, the time traveling soldiers I could talk about briefly here. Uh, maybe a year ago or so, uh, I was in bed and all of a sudden I got this uh, information coming to me. I have a couple of soldiers that come in off and on, they kind of like flutter in the room and they said there's a problem we need some help and I go okay so I don't get paid for this and I'd like to have a, one of those black credit cards to help out but I don't have that yet but uh, uh, unlimited funds okay so anyway uh, they said th that uh, about a thousand of our men got terminated so what I do since I'm a light being in my major what I do as a light being is I have in human terms, a medical ship. So I go out and, and save things that have been, have problems in the light. Sometimes the darkness comes in, I have to help things out. So I have, I have the ability to recreate any life form, even darkness ones. So I had to go to these soldiers and rematerialize them because the aliens got them in a battle. And uh, that's probably why, I can't say this is 100% correct, but uh, that's why we had the space shuttle program to fight aliens, okay, to go out in the Beyondo out there, physical fighting. The Russians have the same thing. I think the American system, there's only a couple of shuttles left doing this, I believe. Uh, there's probably, I think, about a dozen Russian ships doing this here, okay. And they have uh, alien technologies on them, weaponry, okay, to fight the aliens. And this is true. Uh, there's, there's a lady doing this uh, earth defense uh, something. Uh, anyway, uh, but her, her husband's in jail, and he's one of the last astronauts, I think, uh, doing this here. But anyway, they, they were trained to fight aliens. So uh, what happened from there is that the founding fathers of the U.S. Constitution, who are tra time traveler uh, spirits, beings, whatever, okay, uh, who made the Constitution with the Bill of Rights to give us freedom. Let's use that, you know, for the world here, right? So that's what they're trying to do in a sense. So we have soldiers that are physical that were transported, living a life into the future. This should make sense to you for time traveling, okay? And they would look back upon this time right now and say, holy shit, there's alien wars going on here. Aliens are trying to take over the planet. Now, if our home base, we'll just say, somebody mentioned about a stargate. So they will say went from this stargate to the Beyondo, right, in the future on timelines. Now, if that stargate gets eliminated here, they can't come back. You follow me? So they started bringing in these forces from the future back into our, our timeline, but just next to our timeline, where the aliens are, because you can't see the aliens, right? So they're on an invisible timeline to us. To them, it's real. So what's happened uh, was the, uh, the US military that is not on the surface here is in control of uh, spearheading this particular thing, and, and all the other countries are also doing this. So they take people, like in boot camp, et cetera, from the past, right? And we'll say that they're eating maybe steak and eggs or something, right, in boot camp or whatever they eat, and they just freeze time. Maybe they're having a drink of uh, Coke or something or coffee. They freeze time, and now they send them off to the Beyondo, train them how to fight aliens, and now they brought them back. They're still here, stopped. They know how to stop time, too. And now they could be fighting for five years or so, fighting the aliens. When they get done with their mission, then they'll bring them back, and now they have the glass, brain swipe them, and now they drink their coffee. Okay. So uh, a lot of people could be already enlisted fighting the aliens, 
being alongside of even your grandparents or your parents or father, we'll say, or grandfather, since it's mainly males that were doing these battles, and you could be with them at your current age, and they could be in their 20s. So almost the whole planet here is involved fighting aliens on these timelines. So, so my involvement with this is that during this process, they didn't have the technology. See, the light cannot interfere with anything that's going on. It's because it's a non-judgment. Now, the light will come in if the light gets attacked. And so the light will help out the soldiers because they're trying to defend the territory of light here because they're trying to keep their free will, free choice. Does that make sense to you? So all of a sudden, now the light can come in. So we trained these soldiers, even if they had a bow and arrow or something, with light technology. And so they're now shooting the aliens with light out of time. And that's what's happening now. So I've been involved with that and helping the, the soldiers that did get uh, cremated somehow with aliens, uh, putting them back to life again. So that's what I'm doing on my other job that's not physical here, but it is physical. I've, I've been a lot of different places, and I have recall of different things. But I can't really give you a tangible thing. I can't pull up some type of alien weapon or something and show it to you. Or, but I, I can bring in some of the military because they're, they're already here protecting me. So, yeah, a question? What do you know about the nine levels Montauk bases all around the U.S.? Not too much. Okay. okay. I'm, I'm going to bring in uh, uh, more of the U.S. Uh, forces here. Uh, if you went on YouTube, you probably have seen the uh, super soldiers, the ones that are invisible, or heard about them. Uh, they're, they're working. Uh, I'll just say with me in a sense. Uh, I have other ones, too, but I'll bring some of them in here. They're already in the room, but I'll, I'll have them show their presence a little more. You're going to feel their energy. So here they come. One, and they're coming in because they want to come in. Two, I, I can't, you know, command them to do anything. One, two, three, four, and five. There. It's feeling a little different in here, isn't it? Okay. Now I'll bring in the Russians. The Russians uh, are very nice. So I have about 1,000 of the U.S. military, and then I have about 200 Russians. One, two, three, four, and five, and that's the Russian energies. How's that feel? Mm -hmm. The Russians seem to have a little more hard energy. Yes, question? I don't know. I never have even checked it out. Because at the moment, what you're saying sounds really hopeless for... Yeah. For humanity? Very hopeless? Well, you're already hopeless. Oh, right. You're already there. You're in the soup. So. You just happen to know that you're in the soup now. <laughs> so how do you get out of the soup? You do some clearings to get yourself out of it. If you want to leave this planet, which you've been trying to probably do for 50,000 years, which is probably 25 ascensions you people have missed. That's the average that people have been here is 50,000 years, okay? And you don't want to miss out this last one coming up here. And, and I'll give you even some worse news, okay? This is the worst news I can give you, okay? The Earth spirit is no longer here, number one, okay? This planet will no longer exist with this Earth spirit. What created your body? What's your body made out of? Earth elements, which is resonates to the earth spirit. So if you don't make this ascension right now that's coming up, you'll be off on some parallel life. You can't come back here. 2,000 years ago, the dark side took everybody with that soupy sails shuffle sideways, you know? Took everybody off. Maybe there's a couple hundred people here of light. Took those people off. The light doesn't know how many are here. They don't have a, a scorecard. And then ascension started up again. They brought everybody back. Well, if there's no earth, where are you going to go to? Sad. Okay, this guy is leaving. Doesn't like it. <laughs> so where are you going? You're going to the Beyondo for, forever. So how do you get out of here? You need to get 
a spirit barcode taken off of your spirit, which is what they put on you when you first checked in here. That's on my website. If you don't want to do any other clearing, you don't care about your body leaving here, you don't want to do anything else, but you do want to have your spirit out of here, do the spirit barcode. Get that off. That guarantees you to get out of here. Light will find you. I know it doesn't even know that you're here. Uh, uh, when? Then, then the light will recognize you because it knows that you're here. The light only looks for light. If, if you're taken to a different location with your spirit, this, the light cannot find you because you're going into a darkness universe. The light doesn't know darkness, never created it. And then you're stuck in darkness. You can't come back to a planet of light like what's happened, you know, for all the other times of 50,000 years. You can't come back here for those 25 times. This is not going to exist. <coughs> you can't go to the new age thing of like another dimension. You will be going to some other dimension in darkness. The light has no dimensions. Okay? There's no lesser light or more light or more fifth-dimensional light energy and fourth... No, it's light is light. That's another teaching that they gave you to, to have you, you know, chase that carrot in front of your nose. They get hooked up to more information and more books to read, more codings, more stuff being attached to you, more alien agendas. Yes? What do you think our purpose is here right now? You're, okay, your life purpose is just to live life. There's no agenda for life. The aliens gave you the DNA, to, which makes you uh, have situations in your life happening. There's no so, purpose for so life. There, it's just create. Like There's a hierarchy of darkness. Yeah, that's your galactic federation. And I could say galactic federation of light. They may coin some other word after that. More, more light. You know, greater light. You know, it's, it's all alien stuff. They gave you all those rules and all that stuff so you can be trapped here. You will be undetectable of the light without having that spirit barcode taken off of you. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. If your spirit had a chance to get out of here 50,000 years ago, it would have left. But if you had a chance to remove everyone's barcode in this room so that they can be detectable by the light, would you? I can't do that. You have to do it yourself. And how do you do that? But it's on your website. It's on my website. Just go on the website and get your barcode taken off. If you, if you have any, like, like around here you have the gray skies happening, alien ships, go on there and do the gray sky clearing. It's a free clearing. Go on and do the uh, uh, clearing for the uh, alien oxygen. Get that to help you out. I have one for uh, implants on top of your head, Re receptors. That's a free clearing. Get that off of you. I have a satellite timeline crash. I'll do a timeline crash for you so you can see what that's like. So... Uh, uh, let's see. I, I need to pick an issue because, see, timelines have issues on them. So what's, what's a common issue here? Pain? Pain. Pain. Fear. 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 Okay, here we go. Uh, I have to count to 10 to do a timeline crash. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's one timeline being released. Now, this could crash in five minutes to about a half an hour. Next timeline, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There, are you feeling any difference on fear? Remember, you're on timelines with maybe uh, millions of people living in fear with all different fear energies. Okay? So it's the book of fears, right? And you're on this timeline. And one alien race created that, and another alien race is... Geez, these people really are responding to fear. Let's have another earthquake. Let's have another hurricane, right? So then now they create another timeline. Maybe they copy the last one, copy and pasting. Now they got a thousand of these going, and they put you on it. So when you do a timeline crash, you're getting rid of everybody that's on that timeline. Now, timeline is a parallel life, so you, the two words are interchangeable. So you, when you're in a parallel life on a timeline, and you get rid of that timeline, all of a sudden, like what I did earlier with the decloning, 
stuff goes away. So if you have a situation uh, that you're dealing with, maybe do uh, 500 timeline crashes on it. That's on my website too. The cost is, uh, I think it's, uh, uh, yeah, something like that. It, it, it's, it's pretty, pretty reasonable. Just go on there and just hit it. Do it all the time. It's defaulted to 15 minutes. Maybe we can change it to five minutes per timeline. And get on that thing, and you're going to feel your life changing because all of a sudden, your physical body that's being replicated, that's being copied and pasted into this one here, remember you have this big backpack on of all these timelines dumping down on you, all of a sudden you get rid of the timelines and you feel better. You go, wow, great, there's no more aliens on this issue. What's that again? The aliens can do anything they want to do. They, they, don't, they don't honor your free will, free choice. So you keep doing the clearings, okay? And, and eventually, I, I could say that if, if you did your emotional whole lifetime clearing and you moved to a cave someplace and you just communicated with nature and saw birdies, you know, and, and different things and having a radio on, no TV or anything else, you probably would not be reactivated and the aliens may not want you because you wouldn't have any issues. Remember, people activate your issues. And just think about it. You're, you're at peace in your house or whatever, you know, you feel great, or at work, the phone rings, you pick the phone up and somebody goes, hey, 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 hey. Go, oh shit, you know? And, you, and now, now you got their issue. They activated your DNA. They dumped their load on you, which activated everything inside of you with that issue. You could have been cleared of it. And now it's your stuff just like theirs. And then they cord you with it. Then they bring in entities. Entities are ghosts. Else and they attach to you. This place is awful. This is a prison planet. So am I giving you good news? Well, you already know what it's like. <laughs> I'm trying to get you a way to get out of it. Yes? Everything, everything here that you're connected with is alien. If you get into your heart center, I'll do the mind to heart drop again. So I'm going to command your spirit. This you have to command your spirit, otherwise you're in darkness. In fact, I won't command your spirit. Okay? And I want you now to do the mind to heart drop without commanding your spirit and do that same thing dropping down from your head to your heart and see how you feel. I'll just count the numbers for you. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, this feels awful to me. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, I gotta stop. How do you guys feel? Like, wanna throw up? Yeah, blocked. Blocked, right? This is what people do. They say, I'm heart centered. That's where they are. Now we're gonna command your spirit to do this for you. Now you're using light to take darkness and put it into light. Okay? Here we go. Dropping down, hearts, taking your thoughts from your head, from your, your spirit's going to command it down into your heart to be peaceful. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. There. 15 seconds, your heart centered. You're in peace. And you don't have really any thoughts, no, no monkey mind, no chatter. It's that simple. That's what Jesus taught. What church teaches this? Yeah. How about Buddha? B Buddha came and talked about karma, which is your genetic cellular memory. I was in his body, for, I think, for about three years, but I, I don't have any recall of it. You know, just a short time, maybe three years, I think, is what I'm kind of picking up, but uh, um, how that's... Do you, how, how do you see it relating to... To Jesus? He, 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 yeah, yeah, Buddha came to jumpstart humanity for ascension because Jesus was coming after that. Okay? So he wanted people to understand that their, their karma, in a sense, was caused by their stuff, right? Mm -hmm. And to get rid of the karma. Right. 
And so Jesus taught the same thing. Get rid of your, your mind energy. Get rid of the, your, your blocked energy of your body, your cellular memory, which is blocked from thoughts, and get back into spirit. That's the basic teachings. And, and, and by the time you get there, then you're in peace. Why is it that in our Western culture that we don't, they don't talk about um, Aliens. Past, past lives? Well, especially, well, well yeah, yeah. Don't know. Lives. Don't know. Yeah, I mean, like, don't know. Yes? Ascension, okay. You can ascend, okay, ascension is when the universe of light that created you, your spirit and in a sense created your body through the earth spirit because you're created from a planet of light, from the elements of the planet is where your body comes from, okay? So that's of light also. So at ascension time, the light turns the light off. In a sense, there's no more light, okay? And I, I can't use the word darkness, and I really can't use the word void, but that's kind of what I'm saying in a sense. So there's nothing in the universe of light. It's just a, an empty space. Then everything is, in a sense, collected back into light, and everything now is giving a choice of where they can go to next, which you would have a choice. And then the light gets turned back on again, and light plays out for another, say, 2,000 years. So it's a way that the light can keep track of the light. So um, your spirit leaves, does your body also leave? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, you can leave. Yeah, if, you're, if your body can hold spirit energy from your spirit, then your body can leave with your spirit. So your spirit can leave, and your body could leave, we'll say, if it's of light, and then your spirit and body can leave. Uh, for ascension, if when we'll just say that you're able to take your body with your spirit. Now at ascension time, you're able to go to where the, the earth spirit has chosen to go to next, on its next creation. So wherever it creates a planet, it'll give you the opportunity to have everlasting life with your spirit and your body, which you have right now in perfect health, to where it's going to because it resonates with you. Nothing else will resonate with you. So that's the advantage so you can have this, your body going somewhere else and, and, and continue living on in the state of perfection as a physical life form. Are we over? No, Ten minutes. Okay, good. Thank you. So, uh, yes? There's no light beings here. There's no light beings here. There's no light beings. That, that, that's an alien agenda that they're trying to bring forth, which would sound good. Yeah, I'm a light being, yes. I'm the only one here. The other one that was here was, uh, there's a couple others that are not activated. And the last one that was here is Princess Diana. And she was a light being that chose that body to come into to help humanity out for, uh, you know, compassion. Do you believe it's, it's possible for people to ascend without all of humanity ascending? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, okay. Is she reincarnate to a she, She's not going to reincarnate. Humanity? She's done here. She's not going to reincarnate. The, uh, uh, yeah, humanity, okay, you, you touched on a good thing. Some people have the information that all of humanity, all of a sudden, something's going to come down from the clouds or whatever, and all of humanity is going to be swooped off for the ascension process. No. You work on yourself. Right. And, and, and that's what I was saying. Do you believe in the new generation of people who are here to do the work on themselves in order to collapse the extraterrestrial no. they can't um, do it. infrastructure from the inside out? They can't. We're, we're yeah. born into the system. They can't do that. You don't have the horsepower. You don't have the horsepower. You don't have the horsepower with you. But they're young and vital. You can do that. You don't, you don't believe? I know you can't. <laughs> Not that I don't I believe. Hope for the only hope for humanity is to connect back to that one page 
in the book, Go Within. That's your hope. Save yourself. I agree. Save yourself. Are and you to a particular book, or what do you? No, the song is one book. You can make it yourself, you know. Go Within. Oh. That's it. Would you recommend any, um, any technique for us? For Mind a heart drop. I have, I have uh, a clearing on the website, brand new. Mm -hmm. It's free. It's a Galactic Federation clearing. And what it does is the light goes after the aliens that are abducting people here, like yourself and everybody else, okay? And you put your name in. It's a whole lifetime clearing. And you do that. And then I have an unlimited version attached to that after you do your whole lifetime and it will improve your life greatly. You get these aliens off of you. Is there any way to stop them from abducting me now? No. I wish there was. I've been working on this for years. Where you see, I started off just doing healings. Based on my website, I had four clearings. Okay? And then people would say, Ron, I have this wrong with me. Well, that might be good for other people. So I put that one on and did this. And, and now I've got tons of them. You don't need all these clearings, only if you have an issue there, but do the whole lifetime emotional one first. And I give a $50 discount at the expo here on it. So come to the booth, 302, and get that. But basically, you need to get that clearing done, and then you know that, that, that federation clearing, lots of federation clearing will help you get disentangled from that particular thing. I'll do it right now for you. So here we go. I'm going to take away. Uh, whatever is attached to you, uh, I'll do it one day at a time for 10 days. Okay, this is the alien connections to you. We could call it energetic cordings, okay? Here we go. So uh, today cleared, yesterday cleared, uh, three days cleared, four days cleared, five days cleared, six days cleared, seven days cleared, eight days cleared, nine and 10. How do you feel? Things got better. Things got better. Brighter. Brighter? More okay. Energy in more energy. It's like I'm retrieving more of myself. Yeah. Yeah. Ron? Yes. What about people who are drug addicted? <laughs> uh, okay. If you have know somebody who's been drug addicted, I have an entity clearing because entities attach to uh, addictions. Okay. Oh. So you want to get rid of entities continuously on, on that person, not oh. just one time, continuously. Yeah. And then hopefully they may have enough consciousness not to, uh, you know, take a substance. Any other questions? Uh, the website that I have is creationlightship.com. My booth is 302. I have a light infusion chamber. You probably want to do that and uh, have free sample clearings. I do have a radio program, a couple of them. I have BBS Radio. I have four shows a week, bbsradio.com. Then I'm also on constant uh, contact, contact talk radio. Okay, yes. Oh, yeah, the planets. Yeah, ready? Here we go. What planet you want off, last lady here? Saturn. Saturn? Saturn, okay, ready? I, 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 see, I, I can take it off right now. I can't say it's not going to come back to you, okay? Ready? But you can see what's going to happen. So Saturn, uh, need a little more horsepower here. Here we go. Cleared. Pluto? Cleared. The moon? Cleared. Uranus? Uranus? We're probably sitting on that, huh? <laughs> Cleared? Okay. So, so yeah, I have a clearing for that, too. Planet stars and uh, uh, vortexes or something on the website. Yes? Um, could you clear me of all the world's stargates? Other entities that could come through no, I, I, that, that's too hard. You have to pick them. See, the light? Okay. Here's how the light works. You can say, man, I got this, this, this. The light works one thing at a time. Okay? The light doesn't know darkness. You can say, fix me with all my stuff. It sees you as perfect. <laughs> so you have to evaluate yourself what you need. Then the light can help you. Okay? And, the, and you can do clearings on other people on the website because your spirit is what's being used or their spirit is being used to do the clearing. If you talk to somebody, say, I saw Ron over here. He had some really weird stuff. And I kind of believe part of it, but I'm not sure. But he did this clearing and it worked for me. You want to do it? They go, oh, no, I don't want to do this here. Well, but, but the spirit will say yes. Water, water. Okay, get your water, everybody. So, 
So we're going to put light codes in here just for you, for right now, okay? What you need. The light only works in the now. And the water will work throughout the day here for you. So here we go. Uh, I'll, bring in the, uh, uh, I'll bring the goldfish energy. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And it'll take just a little bit here, about ten seconds. You can feel the energy. Your hand might be pulsing or getting warm during this here. That happens for a lot of people. Here we go. Check out your water. I don't have much left here. Is it like fish water? No. <laughs> oh, your fish, fish aquarium. Normally when you drink the water, you put it in your mouth and it goes down instantly. Okay, if you notice that? Yeah. Most water you put in your mouth and maybe for that uh, tenth of a second your body goes, you know, yeah, but I got to drink it anyway, right? And then it swallows it. Well, this water here, you just, it goes in. It's gone. So tomorrow, uh, or Monday, I have a workshop. It's at 3 o'clock, not really the best time possibly. But if you want to come to it, I'll give you a $100 discount off of clearings on my website. That'll offset part of your, your uh, expense for paying to come to it. That's why I always like to do free workshops if I possibly can. That's why this one here is free for people. So, creationlightship.com. You should have some information, and it's on that. And then I, I have weekly conference calls for $20. I probably have more energy in me right now. Oh. So what about going to your Monday? The Monday one? What about it? Well, give us a yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll give you a $100 discount on clearings, yes. So you feel better as you get more service? Yeah, what happens is as I start working with more energy, is I get more energy coming into me to work with more people, yeah. Uh -huh, that's what happens to me. So I, I very seldom ever get tired. I, I'll get. Uh, uh, maybe energetic hits, we'll call that, at times. Sometimes I'll have to throw up. Somebody has lung cancer is on the website doing a clearing for lung cancer or something. So I have to actually throw up the, the poison and stuff or whatever. But, uh, yeah, normally I'm 99% I'm good all the time. I very seldom ever get tired, but I do, you know, take on hits. You know, when I have maybe a 1,000 people working on the website at once, doing a free clearing or something, you know, I can get a little down and then I get it popped up again. So, yeah, I, I am human. And my body goes through a lot. It's not a free thing for my body, but my body gets re-energized. See, I bilocate. So I'm always getting cleaned instantly. I'm bilocating. I'm here and I'm not here, okay? So, in fact, I'll put you people where I live, okay? I'm going to put you on zero time on your timeline. Here we go. Count to five. One, two, three, four, five. There, now you're in zero time on your timeline that you're living on. Remember, you're in time. Now I'll put you where I live, out of time and source energy. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. There. Slight difference. Feel it? And so when I view people, I just see a life form. I'm not really corded to anything. I, I can't cord anything. I wouldn't want to cord anything, but I, I just can't. I just see you as an individual expression of source energy. And I can't take your energy. Why would I want to do that? And I wouldn't want you to get mine either, you see. So now you're in source energy for this moment in time. And nothing exists. If you try to put an energetic cord out to this or the microphone or even to me, it won't even leave you. It can't. It's impossible. Yes? Can you tell me what star seeds are? Nope. I don't even get into that. That's just another alien thing that trying to bring people in here of a different consciousness or whatever. And, they may be slightly different, but they're just another alien race being brought down here, uh, like the indigo children and stuff, and different you know, crystal people or whatever children, and it's just another evolution of their technologies. So how's our time doing? Are we over time? Yeah, five to three. Yeah, three minutes over. Okay, the gentleman back here. Okay, anyone over here? How about uh, as far as food? I mean, as far as you know, anything that might you know helps you to. It makes no difference, I don't think. You know, you're made to eat whatever you eat. You know, body types are different, so you wouldn't want to you know stop eating because you thought eating was bad. You know, maybe you eat meat and you want to be a vegetarian, and 
And maybe you could do that for a while, but your body, you know, isn't healthy. It's not healthy for it because you need certain things from that. To eat. Everybody's different. So, so the food that you're eating, the, the only thing I can say is that if you do eat, eat meat, you're picking up more of the DNA into your body of, of probably judgment. So I can't say that. Okay. But, but what about the DNA of something else? That, you know, like a, you know, it may not be as much in a piece of grass or something or a leaf, but, but animals would have a higher consciousness, mm -hmm. and they may have the pain and suffering of dying, okay, which you're eating. Okay, so that's what I could probably say for that. Yes? What's going on in the area of the I have no clue. I do have a clue, but I'm looking, but I, I, I can't, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on. I've been through a lot of underground tunnels, battling aliens here, uh, all over, uh, it's just, uh, just, just the way things are, and things happen here, and it's not good. And uh, the only thing you can do is save yourself, you know. Do that spirit barcode to get yourself out of here. Do some clearings if you want to feel better. Do the emotional clearing whole life. Then 15 minutes later, all, most of your burden is released from you. Otherwise, you're going to be recycling. You're going to end up in the hospital dead from your emotions if, if there's no ascension time but you want to get that barcode off of you. So hopefully you enjoyed this here. I enjoyed it. It's a lot of fun. Thank you. OK. And I could talk outside if you want to nab me outside the door.